Hello guys, let's talk about eloquent attributes in this video based on a tweet by Akshit here who shared the snippet that you can create attributes, accessors to create new attributes on the fly. In this video, I will try to improve this example and show you why you should not probably do it this way. So let's dive in. I will show you my example here in the Tinkerwell. I have a database table called leads with a few fields here. Nothing really fancy. So lead name, sales rep name assigned to that lead and when it was added and is closed or not. And then in the lead model of Eloquent, I added a few similar things to what Akshit was saying. In fact, this one is identically the same, get created add, and I did it on two fields, on created add and on added on. And also there's complete name. It's kind of a fake example, almost an example that you want to have new field based on other two fields in the database. And by the way, this has two syntax versions. This is kind of older classic Laravel version. And since Laravel 8, from what I remember, they introduced this syntax attribute with attribute make where you can do get and set in one function instead of having separately get complete name attribute and set complete name attribute if you want to also override that field on saving. So yeah, these are my examples. And let me show you what is the result of that in Tinkerwell. If we launch it like this, the result seems to be okay. Correct at first glance, right? So created add is formatted the same as added on and complete name is also correct. But there's a difference here between those two timestamps and that field combined from two fields. You see, this is a new attribute based on other attributes named differently. In this case, you are overriding the original field. And this is where it could be risky and probably not advisable to do, especially with created at. Created at by default in Laravel is casted as carbon object. So it's pretty typical to have this formatting somewhere in Blade because developers, often Laravel developers, are expecting that created at is a carbon object and they would do something like this in Blade or in other parts. And look what we have now. We have call to a member function format on string because you override, probably not intentionally, but anyway, you're overriding carbon object to be a string. So I have two tips here how to avoid that. First, if you need some field formatted in some way, create a separate attribute. For example, get created at formatted attribute, something like this. And then whenever you need that, you call format on the original created at or do created at formatted like this. And then these won't cause any errors. Or actually the values are different. What is the reason? Let me take a look. Oh, of course, it's not value anymore because it's expecting the same field value. So this should be without value. And in here we should have this created like this, relaunch. And then we have the correct identical result. So this is tip number one. Name your attributes in another way to preserve the original attribute value because other developers may use that in other places. And by other developers, I mean it may be yourself in the future and you would forget you did that. Similarly here, I would suggest to do get added on formatted or something like that. But also, if you do want it to be returned every time with this formatting, you can specify that as cast. So casts, add it on, for example, let's do that field. You add date and then specify format. Let's try it out. DMY like this and let's remove that function comment it out and if we relaunch that tinkerwell now the result of add it on is actually a carbon object which doesn't include any formatting yet right but this is kind of two in one first it gives you flexibility to add format like this so you can do format here for example or that casting according to the official laravel documentation is used when model is serialized to an array or JSON, which happens often in APIs. So if we do something like print lead to JSON, this is what happens under the hood in Laravel APIs. Or in fact, in Tinkerwell case, it should be echo. So we relaunch 
and this is the result. As you can see, created at and updated at are in the default format, but added on is returned with our formatting coming from eloquent casting. So yeah, this is what you should probably do if you want to return the same result every time. But at the same time, I wouldn't probably recommend to do that because you never know what other formats may be possible in the future, in other cases by current or future developers. What do you think about these tips? What is your preference how to define such accessors, especially with dates? Maybe you have some additional advice. And in general, if you want to improve your knowledge about Eloquent, I have a special course on my Laravel Daily Com called Eloquent the Expert Level. It is from 2022 November, but it's still really relevant because Eloquent hasn't changed much since like Laravel 5. So if you want to take that course, I will link that in the description below. That's it for this video and see you guys in other videos.